video we are going to study about the introduction to medicinal chemistry and physiochemical properties of drug. Let us start our video with the definition of medicinal chemistry. Medicinal chemistry is an interdisciplinary field. Uh, what do you mean by this word interdisciplinary? Let us see. The interdisciplinary means more than one branches. That means the medicinal chemistry consists so many branches uh, that is biochemistry, organic chemistry, physical chemistry, computational chemistry, pharmacology, microbiology. That's why it is known as interdisciplinary field. So the definition of the medicinal chemistry is it is an interdisciplinary field of study which combines aspects of organic chemistry, physical chemistry, pharmacology, microbiology, biochemistry as well as computational chemistry. Now let us talk about the history of medicinal chemistry. In 19th century, it was known as age of innovation and chemistry. In 1898, the morphine derivative was introduced as a cough sedative. In 1875, salicylic acid is used for the typhoid fever and after 1930s there will be a development of a new drug and there will be a combination of medicinal chemistry and experimental pharmacology. In 1928 there will be a discovery of penicillin which is the first antibiotics was the greatest achievement by the Alexander and in 20th century the John and Paul Enrich come up with the receptor theory. This make an understanding between the drug bind receptor based on the chemical structure and composition all about the history of medicinal chemistry now the physio of chemical properties of drugs the physiochemical property can be divided into two words that is physical property another one is chemical property physical property means drug is responsible for its action and the chemical property means the drug is reacting extracellularly according to a simple reactions like neutralization gelatination and oxidation etc uh, the physiochemical properties of drugs are ionization, solubility, partition coefficient, hydrogen bonding, protein binding, gelatation, bioisosterium, optical and geometrical isomerism. In this video, I am going to explain about the ionization. So, what do you mean by ionization? Ionization is nothing but consider here a molecule or an atom and it will be in the form of non-ionic. And it's going to convert into ionic form. So it may be in the form of cation or may be in the form of anion. In cation there will be a release of electrons. In anion there will be a except of electrons. So the definition of the ionization is it is a process by which here the atom or a molecule acquire a negative or a positive charge by gaining or a losing a electron that resulting in the change in the atom or a molecule. So, what is the biological role of this ionization? It takes an important role in pharmacokinetics. Pharmacokinetics means movements of drug in our body, which involves ADME, which means absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion. So, drug which is involved here, it is unionized and ionized drug. Whenever the drug is unionized, which means oily, oil soluble, that is lipophilic in nature. And here, whenever the drug is ionized, it, it should be hydrophilic in nature, which means water soluble. So, the drug which we are taking into our body orally, that is always a unionized drug. Ionized, afterwards ionized and afterwards unionized again. So, because of this, the ionization will take an um, important role in the pharmacology. The conclusion here, there should be a good balance of ionized and unionized form of drug for the pharmacokinetic. Most of the drugs are either weak acids or a weak bases. I am considering here acidic nature. Uh, here I am going to take an example as an acetic acid, which is a weak acid. Uh, whenever it is going to get uh, dissociate, and it will form a conjugate base and proton. Here we can see that unionized drug will going to convert into ionized drug. So the degree of dissociation can be calculated by using henderson hasselbach equation that is pH equals pK plus log ionized divided by unionized for an acid. And for a base, pH equals pKa plus log unionized divided by ionized. 
which is all about the ionization thank you